Hello everyone, this is Gülşah from Turkey. I am a Pilates and face yoga instructor. Today we're gonna do a full face head and neck face yoga class. Not uh, so long. This is a great routine to be a daily routine, okay? We're gonna just need a pen, no oil or something. At the end, I'm gonna show you a dry massage without using an oil, just a pen. So, start. Let's start with the scalp massage. I always start with this because so important. Let's pull the hair up, then shake them slowly. Circles, sides, front and back. Be creative. We're gonna go all along the head now. Release the face. Deep breaths. Scalp massage is so important for our face, also for our hair health. It's proven that this massage reduces the hair loss. And also so relaxing. This may hurt, but this will be reducing as you go on doing face yoga. Now my fingers are strong. Press them, reach to each other like this. Fingers are strong. Going to each other firmly and tight. Again, all over the head. Now, this is like shampooing the head, but again, strong. You may feel tight areas on the head and try to do longer on these tight areas, especially here and the hairline. Again, face is relaxed. Don't contract anything unnecessarily. Release the face muscles. We're gonna rest the arms and neck now. Yes. This is a basic movement for the double chin and the slides, okay? Neck lines. Hold on here. We're gonna go back, but put a little smile here. Then go. We never want the mouth corners to take sag, okay? Always a little smile. If you are good, you feel good, the hands can little pull the skin down to increase the stretch here. And check if you lift the eyebrows while you go back. Don't do that. You can close the eyes. Listen to your body. Go as long as you feel okay and comfortable. One more. Here, just open and close the mouth. One more. Now we are going right and left. Again, needle smile. You will feel a stretch on one side of the neck. Slow and conscious moves. Our neck is so sensitive. One more. Good. Now let's go on the face massage, a cue point massage. I'm using here all my fingers that joint up and down, deep circles. You can do one by one or both. Again, this will hurt, 
But hurting means you need that massage because we use our eyebrows a lot. So these muscles, forehead muscles are very tense and tight. They need to relax and release, okay? You can do with your fingers if it's too pain for you. Then go a little sides here. Release the face, mouth is slightly open. Then to the temple area. This is a tight area, again, temples are tight and stressful. Now we're gonna relax our shaving muscles. Use here, open the mouth and stretch the muscles down diagonally. Then the opposite side. You're gonna feel that. This is a facial because everybody is clenching teeth. Good. And the ear massage. We're gonna squint the ear, every point of the ear, every point you can hold a few seconds, squeeze them, then change the point. There are a lot of acute points on the ears, you know. Very important, very relaxing, good for headaches. Then hold on the ears and just do a little slow circles. Then reverse the circle and little shake. Then go down from the ears. This is a lymphatic drainage massage. Good. Now, let's hold the eyebrows and forehead up. No wrinkles under the palms, okay? No wrinkles. And open here. Not like this. Open and up. I'm gonna open my eyes biggest, the biggest one, then close them tight. Open big, a few seconds, stay here, then close them very strongly. While I'm doing this, there is no wrinkle on my forehead. You see, right? I'm not doing such things. My hands are holding because of this to prevent the movement here there is no movement seen but a work inside very very good for the eyelid drop this is everyone's problem and one more good now Let's relax the neck, rest the neck. We're gonna do a balloon face. We're gonna puff up the cheeks with air and wait, okay? Hold on here to prevent these little wrinkles also to hold the air. Strong. Good, relax. We're gonna do one more balloon face today. Now, let's work on our mewing. Now, my tongue is stick to the palate, stick up. Then, I'll try to lift the palate up with my tongue, okay? All the tongue, all the palate. So, you'll feel that work. Tongue is pressing up.
One more. Then my tongue is staying on the palate. I'll try to open and close my mouth. Good. Now rest the uh, double chin area and let's go up. This is a movement for promoters. Okay, if you have this eleven lines here, vertical lines, this is for you. Here, hold and open this area. There is no wrinkle here now. I'll try to frown, but I won't. Okay, because I'm holding tight. So I'm trying to frown. I'm trying to do this, but I can't. I'm trying to do, there's a work inside, then release. A few seconds, try and release. You can bend the neck slowly down because it's tired, I know. I had a very deep front line, but now I don't. This moment is so effective and also you need to stop the habit of frowning unnecessarily. Face yoga helps for that. Because it increases the face awareness. Two more. Last one. Good. Now, let's use our pen. Now, this filter area is so important because it is growing as we age. So, we need to work this area. We're going to hold the pan with filtrum, okay? Mouth are closed and up. Lips are going up. If you see wrinkles, you can hold. Tiring, yeah. Filtrum needs that. Let's go up again. We're gonna hold glasses hold here. Crow's feet, eyebrow, and the cheekbone. Okay, the movement is not just up. You see, it creates wrinkles. We need to reach outside like this, up and side. Okay, open the eyebrow and eye area a little bit. Then we're gonna squint the eye and release. A few seconds. Squint and release. You're gonna feel that work again. Very good for all the eye problems. Under eye, upper eyelid and cross feet. Two more. Last one. Good. Now, let's work on our jawline. Now, two fingers or four fingers. I'm gonna take the chin forward. Then, back to its place, okay? I'm trying to push in my fingers. My fingers is pushing little resistance here. Then, return. Upper, uh, upper teeth is seen, but lowers are not, okay? Close them. Try to put a little smile again. This is like dumbbell lifting, okay? Chin forward, pushing the fingers, then return. Do it slowly. Not so pressure, of course. Feel comfortable. Forward and back. Two more. one now if you feel comfortable 
let's take the chin forward and again we're gonna go back to stretch the neck okay smile and chin forward this is harder now slowly go back and return One more. Good. Let's relax now. Now let's do one more balloon face in a different variation. Now again, both cheeks are full of air. Hold. And I'm gonna do little taps on my right side, okay? Try to hold the air, push it up. Yes, it's tiring. Let's go to the left side. Yeah, I know, I know it's tired, but so effective. Now let's work on our bulldog cheeks, jaws, okay, jaws. Now two index fingers are trying to open the mouth side, side up, not down, but my mouths are strong, not opening. Now, not this. Here there will be a work yet. A few seconds. Fingers are slightly up, not down. Now, again, for this area, but the opposite move, okay? I'm trying to squeeze these fingers with my mouth corners. Good. Now, let's do an all face move as the last one. Then I will show you a dry massage without using an oil. Now, duck face. Look up and try to squint, okay? Especially the lower uh, eye area. You can hold also little down. Okay, great. Now, this is the dry massage part. Two fingers. Start with the eyebrows beginning point. Then, let's do deep circles here. Okay, not this. This. My fingers are moving with the skin. Stick to the skin. Deep circles. This area, again, a few points uh, may be painy. I feel that also. But this is a very relaxing. Then let's do 8 to 10 circles. Then one point side, okay? We're going to do all the eyebrow and return to this circle. Finish this circle. Again, release the muscles, release the face. No contraction. I'm moving. If the finger is tired, put the other one on it. 
Eyebrows can be pressed more, but the skin area is softer, okay? Now I'm on my skin. This is softer comparing to the eyebrow. Go on, on this cheekbones. We're gonna do a circle. Very relaxing again. Very good for the eye area problems. Now we're gonna do this under the cheekbone again. Again, point massage under the cheekbone. Follow the cheekbone. This area, massage to this nose area is very relaxing and also breath opener. You can feel your nostrils are open now. Go, follow the cheekbone. You can use a few fingers on this chewing muscle area. Then, for the brown lines, lift and open. Lift and open. Deep moves again. One more. Then, on my right side, right hand is below and left is up now. Right is pushing, left is pulling, okay? Deep massage, slowly. My fingers are open, open everything, open up. You can use an oil also. If your face is so dry or uncomfortable, I didn't use an extra oil now. And one more. Good. You can see the difference now on me and on yourself. Now, other side. Left is coming under. Right is taking it up. Again, fingers are open. One more. Good. Now they are equal. This is the last one. This is a lip plumping massage. Okay, important. Let's squeeze them softly, both. Then separately. Don't squeeze too much. Feel comfortable, okay? Even the lips can be tight. You may feel that in some points of lips. Now take little pins, soft pins on the lip line. One more. Then on a kiss pose, I'm gonna press on my lips, okay? One more. You see, my lips are plumped up. So well done and thanks for watching. I hope you liked the session. This is my first video speaking English. Uh, so I need to know your uh, comments, okay? You can write to me. If you like the session, I can record more for you. Let me know and see you.